Good morning, S2, and welcome back. Having had, hopefully, a lovely Easter holiday, as best as you can in the circumstances. We all know it's been very difficult in lots of ways, hasn't it? But at least we've had some really lovely, dry, sunny weather. I'm very lucky to live out here in the country where, well, Scottish borders I live, where we've got lots of space. Um, and this is my shed. I'm sitting in my art shed. Take you for a little... Well, you don't you can't see very much but it's quite little it's a painting my daughter did so this is my my art shed where I keep all my stuff and I come in here to paint sometimes and this holiday I've been having a bit of an obsession and that obsession is bees and I got to thinking how about we do an insect drawing for your first drawing back after the holidays I'm just going to show you a couple of things um I've been looking at this tattooist i really love her tattoos that's a tattoo amazing eh um her name's kirsten stevenson and she works in edinburgh and i just thought wow i just really want to paint that bee i saw that one and then i saw this one this is another tattoo of a bee and i thought okay and um, i'm gonna have a go at painting that so oh that's my daughter sitting on top of the art shed <laughs> so here's um a painting that i made of the bee that I actually ended up giving away to a friend. This was about well, the first week of the summer of the Easter holidays. Gave that one away and I thought right I'm gonna do another one. So I've been looking at bees. Here's some more beautiful pictures. You can get most amazing pictures online and the last one I did oh, <laughs> uh, is here. Look it's a little video just to show you um, beginning off the painting because something that you can all start thinking about now um, I know you're only in second year, but have a think about it. When you make a painting, put in the background first. Now, I'm not going to be getting you to do a painting for this thing at home, but one day you'll be painting back at school. And one thing we try to teach our third years about, especially, is painting in backgrounds and getting that kind of nicely filled in before you start worrying about what's going on in the actual object. So here's me painting in lots of blue for my background. Um, let's see if I can find... The next stage, this is the next stage, putting in some more detail, putting more colour in, the background, the petals and everything. Um, and then some of the tiny textures and patterns inside the wings and that kind of thing. Very quick videos, don't worry, they're not going to last long. just thought it was quite interesting to see. So you can sort of see how I go about putting the colours in. Even if just for some of you, you find this something which appeals to you and you might remember a little bit about once you come back to school and you start doing some painting. Um, and here's the last one, which has got a little bit more detail in the wings. I thought that was quite an interesting one to look at. So you can see I'm just patching in colours, putting in patches of blues and purples because you can see through these amazing translucent wings to the colours behind. Okay. So that's the video of me doing little bits on my bee. And here's my actual bee, which is next to me here. So you can see I've had a little bit of an obsession this holiday with painting. And for goodness sake, we've got nowhere to go, have we? So we might as well make something creative. Um, there's the bee's head with all the little bits of pollen. So I'm having to get all my layering here to try and get the colours exactly how I wanted them and so on, and all the, the details and the wings and stuff. Anyway, so there you go. There is my little bee obsession. And so what we're going to do for the first lesson back is I'm going to get you to do a little insect drawing. So have a look at the second video about how to get started. Bye. <laughs> 